Uh, yeah, I come from Slovenia. Uh, it's a very small country of two million people. Uh, where there I did all of my um, high school studying and then for the studying in the university I went to Vienna where I studied guitar and composition. I studied guitar with Alvaro Pieri and composition with Ryan Bischoff and Christian Minkovic both in Vienna and then after it I moved to Frankfurt, Germany and now I'm teaching guitar between Frankfurt and Vienna. So what guitar you are using and what strings you are using? Uh, I play on Terek's guitars. He's from Poland, but he actually lives, we are almost neighbors because he lives in Mainz and from Frankfurt to Mainz is like 20 minutes with train. Um, and the strings I'm using is, I think they sound really good on the Terex is Savares Blue, so hard tension uh, Cantiga. And I do, I really feel very good, although it's very hard tension, I do feel really good and I think it, it's very good for my guitar. You do a lot of composition. You're in your recital, almost 80% of the music is your, your original. How, what, what things do you in, inspire your composition? That is very interesting because uh, this week I was thinking that I didn't have any recital solo without my piece. So very early, my first recital, I put one of my pieces in and then more and more. And then as it turns out, uh, first of all, I do enjoy um, playing my pieces for people. I enjoy um, um, them listening and enjoying my pieces for composers. It's very important. Um, what is even more is that normally composers, we write our pieces unintentionally, but we write it for our own technique. So everything, so everything, every technique I'm good at, I put in my composition, and every technique I'm bad at, I don't. So you won't see any tremolo in my compositions. Brand new, is it new one? It's, it's, so new. it's actually relatively old. I think f four years or something. But the the album, including quintet, uh, sonata, guitar solo, trio, or even more chamber music, uh, how, what are you thinking about when you're doing all different kinds of composition, or different kinds of combination, and how you distribute, how you do this album? So yeah, this is an album that we did together with Mark Gergic. He's a main guitarist. He's the guitarist on the CD. And uh, yeah, I just love his playing. We're very, very good friends. Uh, and I said that I will get together, uh, let's say the musicians in Slovenia that I really like. Everything is with guitar. So he played the guitar part and all the rest is like strings, um, soprano singing, uh, flute. And um, yeah, I chose uh, one is solo sonata and all the rest is a chamber. So I chose like a different program. Now inspiration, uh, I'm not really this typical uh, romantic <laughs> composer that sees like a sun sunset, you know, or a beautiful girl and just hears the melodies. Uh, maybe I say that to the girl, no. <laughs> But uh, I normally get ideas very simply at home on the guitar. Uh, I do get very big inspiration from like a piece or performance. Like if I go to listen um, Stravinsky's La Sacre piece, uh, I just get inspired to write. But normally from the um, technique, the compositional technique point of view, I kind of get ideas on the guitar. And then if it's a guitar piece, I develop them on the guitar, so I kind of play the piece almost like I would play something else by heart. Uh, and if it's like a chamber music piece, uh, maybe I do on the guitar and then I develop it and write it on the computer. If I go into really a modern atonal composition, now I don't do it so much, but I used to do it because I studied, uh, it's a bit easier to do it on paper. So to move away from computer and guitar and really do this very um, complicated constructs on the paper because it's a bit simple it's much more simple than on computer 
It's much more, yeah, because uh, when we talk about very uh, modern construct, you talk about complicated rhythms, you talk about different um, notes that come together or chords. So, for example, if you write a very complicated rhythm, you're much more free on the paper. And almost everybody says this, if they have a very complicated compositional style, they need to write it on paper, because on computer you can get really lazy. You have a copy-paste, <laughs> and on computer it's very hard to do a very complicated rhythmical construct. Plus, on the paper, if it's like modern piece, the, uh, you kind of see what you're doing a bit better, and you're not, you don't really listen to what you wrote. So sometimes some modern aspects are better. But as I said, I, I haven't written a very modern piece for some time now. And normally now I do it on the um, yeah on on the instrument on the on computer. And you come from Slovenian, yeah, Slovenia, and uh, was such a young country. Yeah. So, what do you think about the development of classical music? or classical guitar in your country? Yes, so uh, we are very, very young. I think we are now 25 years. I hope I didn't make a mistake in calculation. Um, be because before we were uh, under Yugoslavia, mm -hmm. so we were the first to go out and then all the rest, all the other countries went out. Um, the music, it's actually a very good, we get a lot of um, help from the country. For example, I, when I was studying, I got a uh, scholarship from Slovenian uh, Ministry for Culture. This city was uh, financed by the ministry, and you know, for the artists, they really do a lot. Plus, we have a lot of possibility to play. And also because of this help, I like to return to Slovenia every time they need me to play, or you know, it's a home public. Of course, it has a... Um, similar problem that a small country has and that is that actually everybody knows each other and uh, you it's very hard to just play in Slovenia and make a living because just the market is not big enough so we all uh, a lot of people went out either studying or teaching or, but I do like the situation especially with the guitarist and also the we with other instruments uh, we are we collaborate quite good. There's no tension. So if I like this CD, I really invited the best and they all said yes without a problem. And it's just a very nice atmosphere with musicians. visit Asian quite frequently, recently. In this kind of festival or competition, what they do have? What mm -hmm. do you think they have the most important things? Um, well, it's a very different culture. So now I visited China, uh, Japan, and Taiwan. And of course, all of these countries, they are very different completely. Um, the Asia has a lot of, again, it's different from the countries, but there is a lot, a lot of talent. Uh, when I work with uh, guitarists, uh, they have this way of learning technique that really, maybe because they, you know, in Europe we never start uh, very young. You know, you're seven, eight years old. Um, and even the guitar, I think it's kind of a not big deal if you start at 12. Uh, so maybe that's the reason, because they start when they are three, they already like play. Or when they are nine years old, they play like a uh, harder program than us. So I think that's one of the reasons. Um, and also it's a big market, like if we, we take a look at China, it's humongous. So of course you can do a very good career there. Of course Japan, Taiwan are a bit smaller, but uh, like this festival in such a relatively small country than Taiwan, to have such a big festival and such a good organization uh, is quite, uh, quite a nice thing to see. What is the most benefit the student have in 
in this kind of festival for the students. You mean, you mean just in Asia or just guitar festivals in general? Well, there are two types of festivals and they both have um, good things. One that is not so common is when you go to a festival and you work with one teacher, which I really, I'm a bit sad is not more common because then you really, you go for 10 days and you work with, let's say, Alvaro Pieri for 10 days, every day a lesson. And then in the end, of course, you practice like crazy. In the end of 10 days, you're like one year better. Uh, on the other hand, you have these type of festivals where, where they have uh, students, different master classes, different teachers. And this is very beneficial because you get a different point of views. Plus, it's nice for students because normally, you know, I think it's nice that they play and they invite, you know, friends to go to listen master class and you have fun with them. But I always feel almost sad that people practice too much because if you have so, a lot of these artists, you know, you have Marcin, you have Jeremy. Uh, I did the same mistake, but I think people should go listen, which here it happens. The, you know, master classes are full of people. But very often the people practice for their own master class. And it's a bit too bad because you can practice home. And of course, you don't have just one teacher, so you don't, your practice is not so, uh, it's not a good construct of practice. So I think most beneficial would be just to go listen and to write something down to go to listen to these masters. Today we are very happy to have a classical guitar player and composers as well, chamber music composer Nis Kuha. Yes. Yes, you pronounce it very well. Uh, it's you can pronounce it even better. It's Nate Skuhar, <laughs> but nobody in uh, so nobody can really pronounce it. So I'm very happy with your pronunciation.